Hi everybody, welcome back to Beyond the Cookbook. On today's uh, menu, we have fried fish with moulvillon. Stick around and we'll show you how it's done. So for today's recipe, we have fried fish, as I, as I mentioned. And fried fish is a little controversial because you either like it or you hate it. Um, and if you hate it, I'm hoping that this recipe um, allows you to give it a chance and see how good it really is. And if you like it, I hope that this recipe makes you love it even more. So let's go over the ingredients. So obviously the fish, um, you're gonna need some olive oil to fry it in, or you can use regular oil. I always just use olive oil for any frying, um, unless it's deep frying, then that's different. Um, you're gonna need some corn flour. I've chosen to use yellow corn flour to dredge the fish in. Some vinegar for the sauce, white wine vinegar, and some Portuguese um, style uh, pepper sauce. This is mild, of course, because you know how I feel about spicy food. You can add, um, you can use the spicy one if you want. It's a total preference. Um, I have some um, tomato paste to thicken up the sauce garlic of course and salt and pepper to taste so let's get the fish started and we'll uh, start frying So you have to just add um, salt and pepper to the flour and then just dredge the fish. Try and get a little bit inside, as much flour as possible. It's going to make it crispy and delicious. Now I'm waiting for the oil to warm up because you want a nice hot oil. You don't want um, a warm oil. You want this to sizzle. And I got these fish ready yesterday. So they've been sitting in the fridge with uh, just salt. Hear that sizzle? And by the way, this video was a request for from uh, a gentleman called Rick. So Rick, I hope you enjoy this. So while we wait for the fish to fry, I'm going to start the garlic. So for this um, moulvillon, it takes a lot of garlic, or as much garlic as you like. I'm having a hard time with this. Uh, so I'm gonna take Look at how nice that looks. That's the color you wanna see. Oh, that color is better. Perfect. So I have about I have about three or four large cloves of garlic in here. So we'll use it all. Careful not to burn any of this. You just want it a little toasty. And I am going to add a little bit more oil. And um, that smells so nice. I'm going to add about a teaspoonful of tomato paste, teaspoon and a half maybe. I just want the want it to thicken the sauce up a bit. A little bit of salt. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons, maybe three of the pepper paste. Oh, 
I don't know if you can hear this, but it's sizzling so nicely. And it smells so good. So this is red wine vinegar. It's about a third of a cup. And you just let it kind of boil off. If you don't have red wine vinegar, you could substitute lemon juice or lime juice or even red wine. But the uh, red wine vinegar is so nice. We'll just let it cook a little bit and then we'll be done. So there you have it, fried fish with some red moule vilon. This is a great summertime meal. It's great to do it outside so that it doesn't smell up the house a little bit like it does. And our moule vilon with all of the garlic, tomato paste, red pepper sauce, it is so good. Traditionally, we have these with uh, boiled potatoes. So the next day, we would make, we'd use all these ingredients to make fish patties for sandwiches and it was such a good thing. So I just wanna show you the fish, how nice and cooked it is. Look at that, it's so good. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And I hope you help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers within this year. So we'll be making more recipes and more videos for you coming in the future. And it's nice to see that Yvette is back. So thanks for watching. See you next time.